Hi all, uh, welcome back in the shop for a quick update about uh, the wheel golf cart. Um, so the starting of the project was a plastic golf cart, like this one. Uh, one of the brackets was the mage, and uh, as it is a plastic part, you know, it's not very, very not strong and uh, could not support the load uh, on the golf cart. So um, the first step was to create a new design for the, the bracket for the hub or so, and uh, the result we uh, we had was this uh, base part with the three brackets. Uh, the hub is just just behind and to receive the shaft connector and uh, the front side will also receive a device uh, that will fix um, the, the, the wheel uh, from preventing getting outside uh, of the <coughs> of the shaft uh, of the motor um, I don't remember if you um, I don't know if you remember the last time uh, I had some aluminum bar and um, I asked uh, to a supplier friend of mine uh, to make a bending and rolling operation uh, to create the wheel. And uh, one, uh, one part uh, uh, of this one uh, looks like the, this way. And uh, it will create the external ring and, and, uh, of the wheel. So uh, this ring will get outside uh, of the hub, like like this way so you can see that it, it fits uh, very good and um, <clears throat> I had to make two uh, two rings uh, because uh, my supplier was not able to uh, to make some bending operation uh, of a high thickness part so uh, I have to um, to use two uh, two flat bar so that's why I use a second one like this one that will get over the first one so getting under this way and uh, the remaining operation is to make some drilling operation so uh, to, to drill the external ring to join the brackets, so the three brackets I, I will put some uh, screws, stainless steel screws uh, on the brackets and then it will be um, mounted uh, on, on the complete wheel so uh, as you can see um, this way um, the wheel will be uh, finished and it will be quite uh, quite a same dimension like this one but the big difference is the fact that this one is in aluminium and uh, is very strong and uh, could uh, support a very big load and uh, this one is not uh, uh, very strong and a little bit cheap and to finish the product uh, there is a tire that was just mounted there here and um, the, the way the tire is mounted is uh, only supported by this kind of casting and um, this kind of casting is very light and uh, can damage uh, you know the inside uh, of the tire so you, I don't know if you can see uh, those marks inside the tire so uh, that's why I, I prefer to create a, a flat shape to support uh, to have a better support for, for the tire and uh, the remaining things after the drilling operation and screwing uh, the external ring on a hub would be to uh, make to machine and to mill a slight um, a tail like this one and uh, this tail around the, the wheel uh, was uh, the purpose is to is to maintain the the the, the tire uh, if, I don't know if you can see but on the tire there is a, uh, <coughs> a positive shape uh, that is supposed to get inside um, this groove and uh, so uh, in the next episode you will show uh, on, on a milling machine, on a CNC milling machine, and the way I will uh, machine and mill uh, the groove. So thanks for watching and see you for the next episode.